I'm Sir Tap Tap, and last time we finished the game, and this time we're just going to be hunting for some secrets. Um, the editing order is actually a little out of place because I tried to find all the secrets before ending the game, and that was a bad idea because the secrets are really difficult, and one of them I couldn't get. So last time we just straight up went to the ending, so a little bit of these clips are going to seem to be slightly out of order, but it's all of the secret hunting that I could uh, edit up into one video. Enjoy! Okay, so the secrets are ridiculous. It, it wasn't kidding with that that hint that we found. Apparently, by totally by accident. Um, take a notice of what you're seeing here. Um, take a notice of what you're seeing here. The way that it works is that when we go through this tree, it's like a bunch of different worlds that look almost totally identical, just like this um, the, the the staircase thing. So I, I seem to have stumbled purely by ac accident into, or maybe the secret you just always find, uh, I don't know. Um, but if you, if you do something that, that is in this other video, and then you go, I think it's here, yeah. Something or other is different. And jeez, it, it looks above my head, so you know what we're gonna do. Huge thanks to, to Sarah Kill here. Original, original made my circle. Um, walkthrough solution. Oh, do you have. Is there a text walkthrough? Oh, is this French? Okay. Is there. Does this just show us the things that it. No, that's, I think that's the ending. You gotta. What about the. You didn't show us the little developer commentary things! Well, crap! That was the point of the secret! Well, shoot! Sorry, but... Wait. Oh, that's no, fine. Um... Sorry, but yeah, I really don't know... Um... What the deal is with the secrets. I think maybe that one you just always find. There seems to be some complex things of like... You gotta do really weird specific steps and then like... A thing is different in a place that you've already been. And it's it's it's, it's kind of spooky. Um, I <sighs> yeah. I uh, the, the the guide is like 21 minutes, which the the other guide I found was like 13, so it's a little slow. But um, one thing that he did find was in the torture room. So I'm gonna see. Oh yeah, this thing. I have no idea what this was. This did not seem to be required for anything. So I'm gonna assume this was for a secret. Yeah, this must be for some secret that's over my head. Um, if somebody has a good English language explanation of how the secrets work, um, I really would love to check that out. But, um... I think we've kind of seen, we, we, we've seen a fair amount of what there is to be seen. So I think, dang it, where, oh, here, oh, there's that. Maybe I did do it, maybe I I'm confused. Let me see if I can find where the other ones are then. Ugh, okay. My theory was completely wrong, actually. Um, how do I get that? No, give me the button. Can I get the button out? Uh, it turns out that video is actually from a different version of the game. There's like more features or something. Shoot, I wanted to take that button out, actually. button. So there's a... There's a second button you can get that you put into this door. Okay, so this is actually from a different version of the game. 
Um, and what's interesting is there is a secret that I am locked out of getting. Uh, what you have to do is you don't actually need to put the button into this thing. And if you don't put the button into that thing and you wait and you do things just the right... Actually, how did he get that key? How did he get... Yeah, so using that key this way, you can use the button on the other side of the elevator. And I'll, I'll let you see here. I don't know what the the for the the other secret that we got was just um, it was not a different version of the game. It's just because we solved that puzzle with the the, the alien kanji as I called it in the the ter torture room. Um, and yeah, this is just a different version of the game. I don't know if this is the mobile version or something, um, but it has a little bit more embellishments graphically and stuff to make it look a little better. The the menu the menu I think is less usable like it. Uh, Oh, interesting. What's the what's the secret here? Is there a secret here? So that's the secret. So I'm I can't get at least one secret. What the hell is this? Oh, there was. Oh God! Whoa. What was the point of this? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we didn't have to do that at all. That whole secret was unnecessary. We just took it out. That's interesting. I wonder if that puzzle was too hard and they just removed it from the game. We didn't have to do that at all. We, I just took it out. Interesting. But um, since we can't get that one thing, uh, it turns out they did view very quickly the uh, developer's commentaries thing. So we're just going to read them here. And as you can see, it was a different font here. Anyway. Many ideas for locations were inspired by books or movies, which I've read. The forest with a giant tree. And this is the thing, by the way. Um, people are like, oh, you need to make something totally original. Why does this thing reference that thing? And that's not cool. Um, most creative stuff is really pretty greatly inspired by specific things. And they just kind of, you know, they create a transformative work. And, um, you know, they put their own spin on it. And they just take their favorite things from other things. All existence, all, all creative work, like... Try to cr think of an animal that no one has ever thought of before. Something completely original. No structure based on anything else. You can't do it. What, you're going to make a four-legged quadruped? What? That's, you know, you've seen quadrupeds. You know what those are. Everything. You, humans, your brain doesn't work without drawing upon other things. I'm not saying just copy stuff directly, but... It, 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 creative. The creative process is not something where you can just make things out of nothingness. Uh, maybe just pure abstraction in some senses, but then it's usually, you know, not interpretable by other people as being a thing, you know? Um, everything, everything creative is based on other things. It's not, that's not a negative thing. Anyway, I just, <laughs> that's a thought I've had in my head. I wanted to get out and there it is. Fly free, fly free young one. Anyway. Books with I've read, Forests with Giant Trees, some of which were 100 meters tall, come from the fiction novel by Kir Bulchev, Village, which I read as a child, where I was thinking about the forests and the people uh, who live in these branches. I imagined a big amount of the doors hidden there. There's now, there's now the idea of the transfer station where I was born. The world is an abandoned network used as a hub for traveling. Or, wait a minute. Think about the forest they live in the branches. I mentioned a big amount of doors hidden there. See, he he's taken like just a story about a bunch of trees and like thought about you know he's added his own thing. Like it's interesting. And the secret about creativity is if you pull things from enough different sources, even really cynical people are not going to have known from some of those sources, and they're going to think you did something completely original. So, so the thing is, you got to steal from multiple places. That's the secret. Uh, storage location designed to pour an opalescent blue fluid into the crystal skull links you directly to the two worlds. Liquid, which turns any material into itself after contact, was taken from the novel by uh, Strutzgatsi Brothers. Roadside picnic, which is jelly, fearful and dangerous substance, which can be stored only in crystal containers. A vessel was needed player to pour jelly into. I figured the crystal skull was Indiana Jones. 
Um, put the crystal skull into the space station cell. How and why? Four stores leading to different worlds. The player can explore only one tree and eight doors. But how many of them are in the forest? Possibly thousands. Going down into the trunk, you find that after you open the door from another side, you get to a previously inaccessible part of the targeted world under a different angle. This kind of joke opened up new possibilities for creating brain teasers. For example, this is how a player gets into the prison location in the beginning of the interrogation room, the side later on from the other side. The old movie Labyrinth, directed by Jim Henson, which David Bowie played the Goblin King, uh... Hogel does a similar trick, helping Sarah get in and out of the mines. I kind of get what he's saying there. Um, the game starts at the same point where the first game finished, in front of the second door of the Tibet Mountains. But you notice there was something wrong with the world of Tibet. The left door had rotten and crumbled while the lake had frozen and seemed like the line of the mountains and peaks had changed. Perhaps it's a time anomaly that threw the player many years ahead. And this idea for a prison that you cannot escape except through the doors. For the forest people is most unapproachable place and is impossible to escape from it. Do not exclude the idea that the prison is located somewhere down under the ground of the uninhabited world. Location with the infinite staircase and secret passage was inspired by the dystopic novel Janeway's House of a Thousand Doors. It's a strange place. Yeah, we read we read that part. That's weird. It wasn't We read that one. Of that one. Ironically, the player kills the first living creature that he meets in the abandoned worlds. Due to the player's lack of knowledge, they turn off the power of the anabiosis sarcophagus in the crypt beneath the temple. Perhaps this alien could answer a lot of questions about what happened in the worlds, but he was killed instead. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Uh, you probably already realize the locations of the orbital station, flying platform, and sand planet are located in the same world. Three doors from the same room in the forest lead to them. Locations are connected by the space elevator. Flying platform, a command post high in the sky was inspired by something that saw in the movie Tom Cruise Oblivion. Some of you have solved the task in the looped rooms after the sixth door and found the last secret. This brain teaser was in fact an interpretation of a popular riddle, frequently used by job interviews with programmers, asking about a train. Cars with creative videos to cycle. I feel like I've read half of both of the last ones. HTTP Cru toyig.com slash secret how am I meant to input that oh see these designs are different too I like the hand design better honestly it's kind of neat toyig secret you know what let me see if I can uh, let's uh There's a spoiler walkthrough. There's a walkthrough of the first game on Jay's Games. I heard Jay's Games was gonna shut down. They seem to still be up. They just have a guide posted yesterday. I'm glad they're still up. Um huh. Through abandoned forest, crazy game. Oh, there's a flash version of this game. Huh. I wanna see this last secret though. I can't find this last secret. Crap. If somebody has the URL for that last secret, please post it in the comments. But I've strung you along long enough. Sorry about that. Um, time, time to finish this game. I, I wasn't even sure if I would like this game, but I ended up trying to dig through every last secret. But um, it was here. So that, I, I don't approve of that, by the way. The, that, that secret that you can only get kind of like higher up on the mountains now. Um, yeah, that, that secret that you can only... See, these are different. These, these are slightly different. But I think we got all of it. 
I think there was just altered rock. I see, I see those spooky faces, by the way. And that was through a bend into the forest. That was really fun. Thanks for uh, checking out the videos. Um, I will definitely be checking out the other games in the series, so stay a lookout for that. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to get more of the videos. Um, there are it's a trilogy, so there's through abandoned one, which I might upload first. I don't know. That's the problem with being future tap tap. You don't know what future future tap tap is gonna do. Um, and then we're gonna do um, we're gonna do the third game as well. These are really cool, and I'll definitely check out if the developers have any other games. But for now, this is TapTap Tap signing out. Sorry we couldn't get that last secret. And if somebody does know that what that secret URL is all about, uh, please do leave in the comments. Uh, I would like to check that out. It might be a little bit too late to do a video. Maybe I'll tack it on to the start. Yeah, that's what I'll do. If, if we figure that out, I will put it in the start of the third series, the third game. So please do let me know if you find it. TapTap Tap and Parker signing out. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.